This project is a ESP smart thermostat with a web-based user interface so for the ESP32 or 8266. Here's the unit running. Touch the sensor and the relay goes off. Wait for the sensor to cool down. Or the room to cool down. And the relay comes back on again. So there's the unit in operation. Simple really. So touch sensor, warm it up, warm up the room, simulating heating on and then heating off. And uh, there we go. So it's a seven day timer with four target temperature periods per day. Everything's adjustable in the software. You've got a graphical history view of temperature frost protection for when you're away, an early start mode to get the room up to temperature before the schedule actually starts. So if you want to get up to a temperature of your choice, that can do that. Uh, overheat protection in case there's any faults in the system. Hysteresis to prevent cycling. That's very important for any thermostat. And all the settings can be saved in flash memory. And if you want to try it without any sensors, there's a simulation mode. Just set that to on and it will operate with just the bare ESP. And all the HTML code that it produces is fully validated. Uh, get the code from G6EJD uh, GitHub. There's the address at the top there. Download the code put it into a folder and then modify the SSID and password for your Wi-Fi. Set your time zone. I've put loads, loads of examples in the source code for you. Uh, upload, compile and upload and then connect to the smart thermostat with thermostat.local in your browser or if your browser doesn't support domain name services then monitor the serial port and look out for the IP address that it connects to and use that for your connection. And it comes up and shows you the current status page. In terms of settings, there's a definable relay pin, LED pin, uh, the sensor address for the BM, BME 280, um, if you're using a third party one, not Adafruit, it's 76, otherwise 77 for Adafruit. There's a simulating mode variable off for actual sensor readings, on for a simulation. It just gives you random values, but it, it shows you the system working. Number of readings, uh, 144, approximately every uh, half an hour or an hour is adequate for most purposes. The number of timer events per day I default for four but you could go six or two or one. Um, maximum temperature detection so when should the system switch off but that's programmable. And then the final variable is how many readings should it take and at what duration. So take a sensor reading every in that example 10 minutes or 20 minutes or an hour or every minute what can it control well obviously it could replace the thermostat in your property or control heaters or fans it can work in both directions heating and cooling so this is the wiring diagram the sensor, three types of sensor on the right, three types of sensor are available, all interchangeable. Uh, connect those to the I2C bus pins. Wire up a relay and connect the relay control to a GPIO pin. I've used GPIO zero in this example. And the volt free contacts of the relay go to the high voltage control lines for a heating thermostat. So take out the old thermostat, 
connections and replaced by the two normally open volt free contacts of the relay. Here's the same thing for the ESP8266. So apart from the pin outs, the pin connections almost identical. This is the main status display. The menu along the top, status, graphs, uh, change the schedule, change the setup or get some help. And on the top right is the Wi-Fi signal strength. So the center display shows current room temperature. And then on the bottom line, it shows you room temperature, current humidity, the target temperature set in the schedule, whether the thermostat is on or off, and whether the timer itself is on or off. This section, the graph section, shows you the red trace is the current room temperature variations, the orange trace is the set temperature, and the graph axis gives you time and temperature or time and humidity. And there's also a status of the heating at that moment when you're looking at it, whether it's on or off. This is the timer setup page. Seven days and four periods per day of temperature. So early morning perhaps start low and then gradually warm up and then at night gradually cool down perhaps you can enter the time uh, manually just put the cursor in the field and type the time and temperature you require or you can click on the little clock symbol there for a, a structured input of time and if you leave the entries blank they're ignored so if you only want one timer period per day just leave set one and leave the rest blank. This is the setup page. You can change the hysteresis. 0.2 of a degree Celsius is a normal reading, normal value, and it stops the system from oscillating, from hunting, from trying to get to the correct temperature. And um, you don't want a large one because the temperatures will vary between quite a high and quite a low, relatively speaking, temperature as it tries to maintain the average value. Frost protection, I set it at default at seven, but you can set that to anything you like. How long it's going to take to early start. So if you want it to start 15 minutes early to room up to warm up the room, that's the value in there. And if you want to set the heating on all the time you can manually override it to on and set the temperature that's used for the manual override at 21 degrees celsius in terms of help all of the features are explained in detail here in summary then uh, an esp implementation of a smart thermostat or a simple on off timer however you wish to use it access it via a logical name and you get all those features that comes with the code. I hope you enjoy using it. I hope you found this technical note interesting and useful.